Kuzuzangpola to all the listeners across the country. This is Kilebida from Mandagang Primary School. This radio program is to reach to all the children across the nation. It's a mathematics lesson for class 1 on the topic counting numbers from 16 to 60. Yes, counting numbers from 16 to 60. Well, how is the weather like at your place? Hope it's a beautiful day at your place. Are you ready for your lesson now? Get your workbook ready. You need a pencil and an eraser as well. Let's start with our lesson now. Today we are going to learn how to count numbers from 16 to 60. Yes, numbers from 16 to 60. But first, can we count numbers from 1 to 15? which we have learned in our previous lesson. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Wow, you did a great job. Now, Let's look at our handbook on your mathematical lesson. Do you see pictures of some hands? Look at your hand now. Does it look same as your hand? Count fingers on your hand. Let's count fingers on your hand. One, two, three, four and five. There are five fingers on our hand. Now look at the other pictures on your workbook. How many hands are there? Yes, here we are counting just the hands, not the fingers. Let's count. One, two, three, four, yes, four hands. Look at the hands properly. Is all the hands showing their fingers? No, right? The last hand is showing just one finger. Let's do the counting using those hands. First hand is showing all the fingers, so we count it as 5. Next hand 2 is showing all the fingers. So 5 and 5 is 10. Now the other hand, third hand, with all the fingers up. So 5 and 5 and 5 is 15. Let's do it again. 5 and 5 and 5 is 15. Can we count it one by one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Your last hand on your book shows just one finger up. So... 15 and one more is 16. Say it again. 15 and one more is 16. How do we write number 16? Hmm? 
One and six is sixteen. We write is it as sixteen s i x t e e n sixteen in words. When we write in words, we write it as s i x t e e n sixteen. Go down. Next, we have three hands with all the fingers up and one hand with two fingers up. When we see hands with all the fingers up, we now count it as five. Yes, when we have all the fingers up, we count it as five. So, three hands, it means five and five and five is fifteen. Here we are doing counts of fives. Five and five and five is fifteen. How many fingers in the last hand? Two. So fifteen and two more is seventeen. One and seven is seventeen. We write S E V E N T E E N seventeen in words. I repeat. S E V E N T E E N seventeen in words. Can we do for eighteen? Five and five and five is fifteen. Yes, five and five and five is fifteen. The last hand has three fingers up, so fifteen and three more is eighteen. Fifteen and three more is eighteen. We write one and eight as eighteen. We write one and eight as eighteen. We write e i g h t e e n eighteen in words. e i g h t e e n eighteen in words. Now go down. We are going to do the counts of nineteen. Can you count nineteen to yourself? Three hands with five, and one hand with four fingers. Five and five and five is, okay, fifteen. Five and five and five is fifteen. So fifteen and four more is nineteen. Fifteen and four more is nineteen. We write. N I N E T E E and nineteen in words. I repeat, N I N E T E E and nineteen. What number comes after nineteen? Yes, that's twenty. So you have four hands with all the fingers up. Let's count. Five, ten, fifteen. And twenty. So we are doing in counts of fives. Let's try again. Five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. So two and zero is twenty. Two and zero is twenty. We write T W E N T Y twenty in word. I repeat. T W E N T Y twenty in word. Since you know how to count numbers in fives, and you know how to write numbers, you have an activity in your next page. Do you see a table with some number missing? Read the number, numbers from the start and. Write the numbers which are missing from the table. Can we read the numbers from the table? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Then it's missing, right? So, what could be the next number? 
after 31. It comes 32. So 3 and 2 is 32. What number comes after 32? 33, right? So 3 and 3 is 33. Okay, look at the pattern and keep writing till number 60. Okay, now let's look at activity 2. We finished with counts of fives. Here we are doing counts of tens. Can you see the hundred tens block? You have to count only the parts shaded with yellow. Let's count the shaded box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. First one, you have ten shaded box. And the number is already written there. It's an example for you. Move to the next hundred tens block. You will see two columns colored. One column is 10. If two column is colored, then it's 20. So 10 and 10 is 20. If three columns are shaded, it's 10 and 10 and 10. So it's 30. So 10 and 10 and 10 is 30. Are you writing in the space given below? So you have been doing so much of writing. Now listen to this song and learn some numbers on counts of tens. Yes, on counts of tens. Okay, 
you have two questions in your handbook. Read the first question. Read the first question. What number comes after 30? You go back to your table with numbers and check what number comes after 30. Write your answer in the space given below. Look at question number 2. Here you have to write words for the given number. So how do you write words for 20? Remember, remember it and write it in the space. Well, children, what did we do today? We learned how to count numbers from 16 to 60 by using counts of fives using our hands. Next, we learned counts by tens by using 100 base 10 blocks. We also learned how to write number words. These are the three things we learned today. Till then, have a good day and be safe. Keep washing your hands. Look to the